What's up, family? What's up, family? It's me, your boy, your urban sports guru. And we're going to get into now the AFC South. This is a difficult division to, to, to put together because I kind of like all four teams. I really do. I kind of like all four teams. The team I think is going to end up last in this division. And this is by default because I like all four teams. is the Tennessee Titans, and let me tell you why. I like their coach, Mike Vabra. I like him a lot. He's a Belichick disciple. But the also as a player, so he's in the Belichick lineage, and he coached under Bill, Bill O'Brien. I like Vrabel a lot. I like the defense a lot. I do. I think Cameron Wake is a situation with Russia is going to be good for them. Um, it's secondary, like their front. I really love their offensive line. You know, they already had three first-round pick Pro Bowls on the offensive line, and they just spent a ton of money to get Roger Saffold, the guy who was in L.A. opening holes for Todd Gurley. Now you have him there. And you got Secretary at a fucking, not even Secretary, a batting ring ram running behind them in Derrick Henry. Now, I told y'all last year the only way the Titans will make the playoffs, the only way the Titans will make the playoffs is if Derrick Henry runs for like 1,400 yards. In the second half of the season, I think he must have watched my video because he just went bonkers. What I don't like about this team is the quarterback. I've never been a fan of Marcus Mariota. Never. And I think the team is not in a good spot when your best alternative might be Brian Tannehill. And when I look at the other quarterbacks in this division, Deshaun Watson, Nick Foles, and Andrew Luck. I look at the other, the other defenses in this division. Indianapolis defense got a lot better last year. Houston defense with J.J. Y. Brooklyn. Jacksonville's defense. So, quarterback play is going to mean a lot. It's going to mean a lot in this division. You know what I'm saying? Indy's not going to, not Indy, I'm sorry, Jacksonville's not going to be what it used to be solely just defense because you have Nick Foles. So, quarterback play is going to mean a lot. It's going to mean the difference. Because this, this is going to be a very, very tight division. And when I look at Marcus Mariota and Ryan Tannehill probably being the best alternative in comparison to the other guys, i got to put Tennessee where I'm putting them, and that's four. Third... Is my guy, Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans. And I'm putting them third because I have to see that the moves that they made are going to pay dividends to keep this dude upright. I have to see that the moves that they made are going to pay dividends to give him an alternative as far as running the football. I am actually pissed that they did not go after... I'm pissed at the Texas, and I'm actually pissed at the Colts for this that they did not go after Le'Veon Bell. The fact that these teams have so much cap room and they didn't go after Le'Veon Bell is a travesty. And particularly Houston, because your quarterback is still on his rookie deal. You should have went after Le'Veon Bell. You should have. Should have spent that money. You're not paying it to Clowney, and I get why you're not paying it to Clowney. I get it. I understand. I did a video about this. But when you look at Trey Flowers was getting all this money, I think Clowney's kind of looking back like, shit, at, I ain't putting up D4 numbers, but I'm better than him. And you won't pay him. But you won't pay, you won't go after uh, Le'Veon Bell to help out your quarterback? I like their front. The secondary has gotten worse. They lost the Honey Badger, as expected. I... These are the things I think they'll still be a good football team. I think they'll be slightly better at Tennessee by game, but this division is going to be very competitive. I don't think they make the playoffs this year. Now the two teams will be two teams make the playoffs in this year in this in this division this year. It's going to be Indianapolis and Jacksonville. The team that win it will be the Colts. This why I'm taking the Jags to go come in second. Nick Foles. It's going to be a big big difference. I. Only reason I'm taking Indy over him, I think Indy's targets better. On paper, I just like Indy's targets. When I look at Jacksonville, however, Leonard Fournette needs to look again the way he did two years ago. And that's what they need. What also helped out is the offensive line the way it looked a couple of years ago. 
Now, Andrew Morrell, you've got him from Carolina. He's in the second year now in Jacksonville. Okay. Offensive line's back together. The defensive line. Drafting Josh Allen, teaming him with Calatus Campbell and Ndokwe. He's back in camp now. They did lose a linebacker because he, 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 he basically retired for a year. Um, I do like Jacksonville very much, but I just don't think I think Nick Foles and his gun system wise is gonna help him because the because of the coaching. They're gonna make sure they're giving him things that he's good at. They're not gonna put him in a situation like he was when he was playing with Jeff Fisher. No, they're gonna put him in situations where he can be successful. I like the way Jacksonville is. I just like Indianapolis is a little bit better. Bearing the health of Andrew Luck. Bearing the health. If Andrew Luck's healthy, I like them to win this division. I like them to win this division, probably be tied, winning by a tiebreaker. 10 and 6 will probably win this division. These teams are going to beat up on each other. 9 and 7 might win this division. I'm just keeping a stack with you. 10 and 6. I think two, seven, two teams, 10 and 6, will win this division. I think two teams will come out of um, come out of this division to come to the playoffs. It's only one team coming out of the playoffs in the AFC East. I think only one team's coming out of the playoffs in the AFC North. So two teams will come out of this division. They could be Indianapolis. I think it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars. These are my thoughts. These are my opinions. It's your Urban Sports Guru. Let me hear your thoughts. Let me hear your opinions. Let me hit the like. Hit the subscribe. It's your boy. I'm out. It's the Guru. Salute.